Hello and welcome to the program. Now today we are talking about the Ukrainian Pen Center. It is a voluntary civic organization which is focused on protection of freedom of speech and authors' rights, promotion of literature development and international cooperation. Uh, since 2014, Pen Ukraine has been attempting to draw attention uh, of the international community to the events in Ukraine, particularly the occupation of Crimea and Ukrainian political prisoners in Russian prisons. Now joining us I'm pleased to say to talk more about uh, PEN Ukraine is Vakdan Kebuladze, philosopher, writer and member of PEN Ukraine. Hello, thanks Hello. so much for uh, coming into our studio today. Thank you for the invitation. Mm. Um, so it'd be great to talk a bit more about uh, PEN Ukraine. As we mentioned in the, in the introduction, uh, they've done a lot of work to highlight um, the different um, parts of the occupation of Crimea and especially political prisoners from Ukraine as well. So can you tell us a bit about how the organization has changed since 2014 and how it's perhaps different from other literary um, organizations? <clears throat> First of all, I would say that um, Pen Club and the um, Ukrainian Center of Pen Club is not uh, only the uh, uh, professional organiza organization of writers, uh, but first of all, the, um, and the main activity of Pen is uh, the participants in the uh, human rights movement. Mm. That's why the situation uh, in, uh, in Ukraine is very important for us, and uh, we, we are focused uh, last years on the protection and the support of our uh, writers who are imprisoned in Russia and uh, on the occupied uh, territory. Uh, first of all, okay, it's uh, Oleg Sinsov, but not only he. Mm. Uh, he is rather a symbol of our struggle against, uh, against Russian empire, uh, but uh, all other um, imprisoned writers uh, also. Yeah, and I remember going to an event a while back at Mistesky Arsenal mm -hmm. here in Kiev, and um, there was um, a line of books, and um, they were all in English, and they were about Ukrainian political prisoners, and I was surprised at the time. I thought, wow, this is in English. It's something that I didn't expect. So how important um, are these books? What sort of role do they play? Do they go abroad to uh, different diplomatic missions? I mean, wh how do they work? Uh, you mean uh, the, um, inter uh, the foreign books about Ukraine? Or I mean the Ukrainian books, yeah. The Ukrainian, Ukrainian books, books yeah. 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 So um, I, I would say that it's very important to translate the Ukrainian books about Ukraine, about our situation, about our history uh, into foreign language, languages, because I would say that promotion is, is the main way of tr promotion is translation. Mm. Yeah? And the great task, not only for Pen Club, uh, first of all, it's for, for Ukrainian state, because mm. uh, I think that the uh, main uh, task, um, for example, of uh, Minister of Culture or Minister of Education and Science to support the Ukrainian translation, not only the uh, novels and poetry, but mm. uh, also the um, book about our history, about our political situation, about our problems, about our uh, war with uh, Russia, and about our um, writers who are imprisoned in, in Russia. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's a subject that people still don't know so much about as well. Uh, you mean not in Ukraine, but uh, yes, in, but the, abroad. in, the, I mean, in yeah. the different countries, yeah. in the other countries, yeah. So it, it's also uh, our task, um, uh, task of, um, uh, of the member of uh, Ukrainian Pen Club to, to, to speak about it, to, to um, uh, tell about our problems to, uh, to our colleagues, to, to the writers, to the philosophers, to the translators and mm. scholars all over the world. Yeah, so it's, it's one of, of, of our activity. Yes, and so, so you, you're involved in a, a lot of activities. Um, how big is PEN Ukraine? Uh, I think it's not more than 100 members now, but, but the, the tendency of the last year is a, a increasing of, of, of the quantity of, of the members. Yeah, you know? and that's, that's really good because I'd imagine if you say if you have 100 members, you have an extraordinary amount of possibilities. So it must be... I think 80 or, or, yeah. or, or, or more. I'm well, so it must be quite difficult for you to choose then uh, which uh, publications to translate because you're a translator yourself and uh, no, translating a book is no easy feat or even poetry that's probably even harder. Mm -hmm. You mean from Ukrainian from into... From Ukrainian into, yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't translate my own mm. uh, text. I, I, I write it in German. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean philosophical texts. But I think that it's not task of the members of the uh, pen. 
I think that the Ukrainian state and the Ukrainian, uh, different Ukrainian organization uh, should support the publishing house all over the world, in Europe, in the USA and, uh, and so on, uh, and uh, uh, to, to, to support the, the, the translation, English, German, Spanish, Fra Fra mm. French translation of Ukrainian, of Ukrainian text into Ukra Ukrainian works. Yeah, mm. and also now in Ukraine we have several popular book fairs um, coming up later this month. Uh, there's yeah. uh, the one in, in Kiev. Uh, also, there's always one every year in Lviv, which uh, I've been to. It's extremely popular and it's kind of difficult to get around in the day. Yeah. There's so many stands and uh, what was good to see was there were so many Ukrainian publishers as well. And it seems, I mean, is the market growing from the people that you speak to and, and that sort of thing? As far as I see, yeah. 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 Though the, ten the tendency is, is, is positive last year and I think that uh, uh, the book, uh, the book events uh, such as uh, Kiev Arsenal or Forum in Lviv, is very important for the development of the literature, because mm. uh, it it, it um, provides the possibility to meet uh, for the meeting of publishers and writers, and not only from Ukraine, because mm. uh, we meet there our foreign colleagues, uh, foreign uh, writers, and uh, foreign publishers. And in the modern world, it is, it is impossible to develop the national liter literature separate from the uh, literatures of the other countries. So that's why uh, these book events is very, are very important, but not only in Ukraine. Mm. Uh, I think that it is very important to, for us, for Ukrainian writers and scholars, to be present uh, in, uh, at such events as, uh, for example, uh, Frank Frankfurter Messe, mm. yeah, Frank Frankfurter Buchmesse. Yeah. So, so it's very, very important. And Ukraine is present in some of these. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's very important and it's, it's very good. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And um, I mean, in your experience, um, how important are books in the modern age? Because uh, we say about promoting Ukrainian literature mm. and uh, when you talk about translation, translation of books in particular. But I would imagine that you have to look at different uh, medias now yeah, as well. Yeah. So is Pen Ukraine involved in this about looking at how to uh, spread sort of this Ukrainian literature through different formats? Uh, first of all, it is a, compl is a complicated question because uh, literature is on only one part of the culture process. Mm. And uh, of course, uh, our time is too rapid, I would say. Well, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, things change and, so yeah, fast. And uh, uh, we're accustomed to use many different sources of the information, uh, mm. TV, radio, uh, internet sites, uh, um, uh, social networks, and uh, that's why we are also accustomed to, to, uh, to read a short text. Yeah? Yeah. And that is a problem. Because and have you seen this? Have you, have you seen this uh, sort of change where books are becoming uh, smaller? Yeah, reading habits yeah. are changing. I, I, yeah. I would say, uh, for example, it's very popular now. I think that it, 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 it is beca uh, becoming popular uh, essays in 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 Ukraine, yeah, mm. essayistic, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, non-fiction. It's uh, uh, there are some uh, book series in Ukraine, uh, uh, non-fiction book series, yeah. And for example, a word of uh, a word of um, uh, pen club, Ukrainian mm. pen club, one of the prize of. Uh, Ukrainian pen club is uh, Shevilov Award. Mm. It's for, for, for the books of essays. Yeah, it's a short, uh, not novels. It's a mm. short text, and uh, and it's 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 it is becoming popular now, as I said. But I would say at the same time that uh, it, it is impossible to develop uh, the literature, the national literature, without the great novels. Yeah, mm. because they are uh, the core of the of the literature, the great novel. I wanted to ask you about, that was my next question. Actually, yeah. you stole it from mm -hmm. me because I was going yeah. to ask whether it is the older literature, sort of the, the Shevchenko, uh, mm -hmm. the, um, the other great authors, or whether it's newer material that's coming out that's more popular. I mean, is there any sort of reading habits there? People still go to the older uh, stuff. You mean in Ukraine? In Ukraine, in Ukraine? Um, and also abroad, mm -hmm. even. Uh, so, uh, I would say that it is a part of the Another problem, mm. if we say about the reception of Ukraine abroad, because uh, uh, the people all over the world uh, look at us as a, as at a part of uh, Russian Empire and a part of Russian culture. Yeah? 
And uh, the great task of the modern writers, uh, scholars, Ukrainian scholars and writers, to show the world that we have our own vision, our own historical, cultural and social ex experience, and our modern literature sh uh, should express this, this, uh, this experience. It is mm. a great task for us. Yeah. Yes, of course, and there has to be a, a strategy to be able to do that as well. But as you said, it's also uh, partly the responsibility of the ministry as well. Yeah, I mean, of do course, they have yeah. a strategy? The state or also, yeah. yeah. But um, at the moment, from um, no, your knowledge, does the state have a, uh, a way to do this, or are they still figuring out how to promote Ukrainian culture through literature? Uh, last year, it's, it's better, yeah, because we have uh, some grants, mm -hmm. state grants for, for literature, for uh, for translation, it's very important also for translation, for translation uh, uh, foreign text into Ukrainian and Ukrainian text into another language as well. Mm. And it's very important for the development of literature and for humanities at all. Okay, perfect. Mm. And uh, before we finish the interview, I would like to ask her, what's your favorite Ukrainian literature? Uh, do you, do you, you have one? Your a favorite book? Or? You mean writer? Or yeah, writer. Or, yes. I mean. Oh, it's it's hard to say. <laughs> hard <laughs> to put you on the spot. Many yeah. of the, many of them are, are my friends. And that's why. <laughs> that's why. Uh, so uh, I, it's, uh, I I like I I like modern Ukrainian language uh, literature, uh, but. Okay, I would say about about not modern Ukrainian language uh, literature about classic. Mm. Uh, I would say that my favorite uh, writer is Lesy Ukrainian. Oh, for me, for me, it's 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 very important, mm -hmm. and I think that it's interesting. The three uh, writers, uh, Taras Shevchenko, Ivan Franko, and Lesy mm. Ukrainka, uh, they are recognized all over the Ukraine. Yeah, mm. all, all people in West or in East, they they recognize uh, these writers. But uh, for me, I was born in Kiev. Mm. And uh, for me, Lesy Ukrainka is, is, is my writer, yeah? Yeah. I would say. I recognize uh, the significance of Shevchenko and Franco, but Lesy Ukrainka, uh, I, I feel an uh, interesting uh, connection with, with uh, her writing. Yeah, well, it's very interesting. Uh, and on that note, we'll have to leave it there. Vakhtan, thank you very much for coming mm. into our studio, mm. and it was a pleasure to talk to you. Mm. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Uh, that was uh, Vakdan Kibuladze, a philosopher, writer, a member of PEN Ukraine. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more here on UE TV.